scenario is that President Muhammadu Buhari, he died on the 19th of February. On the 19th of February, please, those analysts, if you can take notes, take pen and your paper and note these things down. Note them down carefully. I'll be giving a specific things here, specific details right now. Okay, number one. President Muhammad Buhari died on the 19th of February, the year 2017. He died in uh, Newcastle, in Freeman Hospital, Newcastle. He died as a result of heart problem, heart disease, which the Nigeria presidency failed to disclose. On the 19th of February, I was in London by the special grace of God. I'm a journalist. I work with one of the Nigeria um, uh, broadcasting station and uh, one of the leading Nigeria broadcasting stations. So I cover the event in London. He died in Freeman Hospital, Newcastle. I was there, I covered the event. Then, you know, Muslim, they don't um, um, embalm people. So on the 20th, on the 20th of uh, February, he was flew in to Saudi Arabia where he was buried. I was there live and I covered the event where Aisha Buhari put on white attire. I think you are with me. Go ahead. So where Aisha Buhari put on white can attire you, and the can you, and can the you, children. Can you pause? Can you pause a bit? Can you pause a bit? And um, let, right. let me remind Nigerians and the entire world that this this event he said he covered. He have the video. He have so the video. I I do. Go ahead. I have all the video. So, so the Nigeria um, um, uh, Aisha was putting on white as a sign of mourning to her husband, who is the late President Muhammadu Buhari. Then the children, according to the Muslim tradition, were putting on black. I have the video. I have the photo, oh, oh graph and everything. You understand? Then, on the 23rd, on the 23rd of February, I was in Ethiopia. As a journalist, I moved around. So, I was in Ethiopia where the African Union, the AU, hold a summit, a mini silence for late President Muhammadu Buhari on the 23rd of February, the year 2017. Hold on, please. hold on, hold on, please, hold on. I know that interrupting you is very, I know this kind of thing is very, very uh, difficult. But please, hold on. Now, uh, you, after covering the event, you went to Ethiopia on the 23rd of April, of, on the 23rd of oh, February, February yes. 2017. And yes. you covered, you were there at the African Union Summit or whatever. Yes. You covered it with your own camera as a journalist and yes. you have the video. Exactly, I Go do. Ahead. Go ahead. So, I covered the events there where the African Union hold a mini silent for late President Muhammadu Buhari. So, to show their last respect to the late president Muhammad Buhari of the Nigeria government. Then on the uh, 28th, on the 28th of uh, February, see, which I think is the last day of February, then, uh, 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 what was it called, um, Queen Elizabeth, gave a condolence statement 
to the Nigeria uh, government in respect of late President Muhammadu Buhari, and which went viral. Yeah. So, all of these, the Nigeria government led by late uh, uh, Abakari and uh, um, uh, with the Kaba swept under the carpet for for selfish and greed reasons. Then on the on the on the second of um, on the second of uh, March, uh, Eric Joyce, the S British lawmaker, Eric Joyce. As British lawmaker, he issued a statement that a condolence statement to Nigeria for the loss of her president. Are you with me, sir? Yes. Then, then they swept it under carpet, and the man got angry to and came out to say that President Muhammadu Buhari is dead. If President Muhammadu Buhari is if they think he is lying, that they should come out to challenge him. You understand what I'm saying now? Yes, yes, that they, yes. should, they should come out to challenge him in the court of law, that he will come out with every evidence to prove that Muhammad Buhari is dead. As I talked to you since 2017, this meaning nobody, nobody, Nobody from the Nigeria government all across the nations of the earth came up to challenge Eric Joyce, the ex-British lawmaker. That went by. Then, on April, April, April 17th, April 17th, uh, one um, American journalist by name, Mark Smith, he came up to, to say that the corruption going on in Nigeria is unbearable, that he, he, he can only imagine how the Nigerians are surviving in that country, that there is corruption everywhere. You understand? So we just talked over all this. But what actually prompted me to come up to, to this tonight is one, the Nigeria youth have been suffering eight, 60 years of independence, 60 years of suffering and smiling, and yet the, pre the government is taking them for granted. Now the Nigeria youth, they came up to say, no, enough is enough. We don't need this anymore. Let's put an end to this. All what they could do was to send the military, it will fire them. If they think maybe I am lying, let Aisha Buhari, the wife of the late President Buhari, come up to tell me that, that the, the, the imposter parody himself as the Buhari is her husband. If I am lying, okay, let hold, it, the... hold it, hold it there, hold it there. First of all, I want you to tell me because you are a very, you are a, you know, uh, one of the best journalists, but people don't know. Like I said, I don't, you don't need to mention your name. Uh, you don't also need to mention the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the um, Nigeria, uh, TV station where you, you work and all that. So now, now, during the time when this, uh, when this man died, you, you, uh, you know, you, I want you to tell me, what did you do? Like, did you contact anybody in Nigeria, like any prominent politicians, and who is the person, and what did you discuss? And can you tell I us, did. can you tell us, can you tell us why, what, you know, what, what happened that the Nigerian media didn't carry out the news, including... ...fortunate that Abakari is dead. Abakari did not die of COVID-19. Coronavirus did not kill him. They masterminded his death. That is number one. I have proof for everything I'm saying because I am a media personnel and, and for me to say whatever thing, I know I can prove it anywhere on the earth. You understand what I'm saying? First and foremost, 
when the when after that we came to Nigeria and we tried to publish the 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 news. Um, let me state categorically. I don't want to mention the name of my of the um, uh, broadcasting uh, this thing I work with. Don't so mention it. The, yeah. yeah, the 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 our firm our firm was suspended by the National Broadcasting Commission (NCC). NBC National uh, Broadcasting Commission suspended our our firm our our uh, broadcasting station from airing because we we carry the news because then you were because, that, yeah because they know they have information <clears throat> that you were there you were there yeah, and you so, followed everything so when you came to nigeria they banned so, they suspended you from they suspended your so, friend so i'm coming to that sir i'm okay. coming to that sir let's not rush it i then uh, let's um after carry called me to Asso Rock. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So I flew into Abuja to go and see him. And he told me that if I can keep quiet, that my safety to be alive will be guaranteed and for my generation to come on no we suffer again as a result of the pride he was offering me. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. So I told him Accepting bribe is not the problem, but my conscience will judge me till I die. Yes. So I cannot do that. And to God who made me, I'm saying this categorically, and and God Almighty is my witness. I did not take a dime from him. So I left. Then I called a uh, Bola Tunubu Asiwaju. Okay. The uh the uh 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 the La the Lagos State uh, richest man on earth. Let me use the word. So I called him. I called him on his MTN line. I can call the line now. The MTN line that I use in reaching him. I can. I can um I'll say it here. The number is zero eight zero six two two four zero one zero four. That is the number I use in calling um, Bola Tinubu, um, Asiwanju. So I called him on phone to tell him about the, in, the development. And he came on to tell me that I should shut up, I should keep quiet, and so many other trash and nonsense that he, he told me that at the end of the day, I was suspended from my work. You understand, as a so, journalist. Okay, hold on, hold it there, hold it there. So, you called Bola Ahmed Tinubu to tell yes. Tinubu, of course, you normally call him too. This is not the first time I, you are calling him, by the way. We normally communicate. Okay, so you called him on this number you called now, 080 yes. 622 Yes, and then, he tell, him, and then he tell, he tell you to shut up and tell you a lot of things. He 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 specifically, I can still remember. I have I still have the record of that conversation. You understand? Because okay. as a journalist, you keep record of things because yes, to come you might need it. You understand me? Okay. So I still have the record of that conversation. So when I called him, I he told me that nigeria is not like other country that what that that nigeria uh um uh, uh of affair revolve and must continue to revolve around the cycle you understand now mm -hmm. he, he told me that it must continue to revolve around the cycle that the system of governance in nigeria is different from every system of governance in the world on earth that in nigeria transparency is is something that they don't toy with that they try to hide everything that is not everything the masses must know it's not everything the masses the people of nigeria must be aware of are you getting what i'm saying sir yes, so yes. so he told me and he he offered me 
money too. He offered me a bribe. He said, as long as I kept quiet, then I called the, the, the vice president too, uh, Yemi Osibanjo. You I called, went to. You called the vice yes. president too. Okay. Yes. I have his contact. But I, I, for security reasons, I wouldn't want to disclose his contact to the public. You understand okay, what I'm saying? Yes, go but ahead. If you need it, one, if you need it, one, no, no, one, no, no, I can no, give no, it to. No need, no need. Just go ahead, go ahead. No okay. need, no need. So I called, I called Professor Yemi Osibanjo. I called him. I went to his office to meet him in Asoro, in Abuja. So when I got there and I told him. Sir, we all we understood because I was the one that covered the news. And from Soso Place, I introduced myself to him and he welcomed me, he sat me down. I told him this according to the law that I, I know because my father is in Nigeria. You understand me now? My father is in Nigeria. My mother is from the British, is from England. So I, I told him that according to the laws that are known in Nigeria, when the president died, the vice president automatically so will become the president. You understand? As a way of moving the country forward, he said that the Nigeria government is not run in that system. I said no. When Gulo Jonathan was there, that was what happened when the the president died. He was the vice president and he came up to be the president. You understand what I'm saying? And he said, please, for my safety, I should keep quiet and go my way. That, that the course of things will play out by itself in Nigeria. The reason I got to understand that can you, can, you, can, you, can, you, can you pause a little bit, please? I know that this is very difficult, you know, when I'm, you know, uh, pausing you all the time. So, is it that because of the way you have actively trying to air this news was the reason why you were suspended and sacked or something? I wasn't sacked, sir. You wasn't I was sacked. suspended. Okay, you were su suspended. Okay. So, was it the reason, was... Was it the reason you were suspended? Yes. Okay. All right. Go because ahead. Because I, I told them, I told them, I told them that I will publish, I will publish it. Then, as at that time, I was receiving so many threats, so many threats. Like, seriously, people started threatening my life, threatening me so here and there. Then, I called um uh what's it called uh um erufai because erufai was there when 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 uh, uh buari was being buried in saudi arabia erufai was there the sultan of sokoto was there danduje was there as at that time then uh, um um about 10 or 11 persons prominent people from 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 Nigeria, we are there, including other um, um, uh, people who came to to the burial ground. But the people that were there, Erufai was there. The the Sultan of Sokoto was there. You understand what I'm saying now? Yes. So when they were burying him in Saudi Arabia, so I. And they started threatening me at that time. They threatened, threatened, threatened me. I, because I told them I would publish the video. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. If they, if, if, and I understand that many of them are hearing me right now. I understand that many of them will come up to say it's a lie and nothing like that happened. But if any of them can come up to challenge me, that this and this and this I'm saying now never happened. I will be very glad because I will pick it up from there. I will take it to the court, to the International Court of Law. Let Aisha Buari come up to tell me that the man put his posting as a Buari is not, is the real Buari. 
I will come up with every evidence, including the video of how he was wrapped with the Nigeria flag, yes. with the green, white, green cloth. Okay. I will come up with the video of everything. Okay, hold Let it, them come hold it. and challenge yeah. me. Okay, hold it there. So, actually, the uh, the uh, the video and, and all these pictures were taken away from you, but you have your own backup as a journalist. I always have backup. All right. I always have backup. Go ahead, go ahead. Leave. Continue. Leave. The, the, my camera was seized as a journalist. It was seized at the airport in Lagos. Did you, did your, your camera was seized at the airport as you are coming yes, back to Yes, in Nigeria. Lagos. Okay. Think today that I'm talking to you, I would never set my eyes on that camera. Hmm. But you have backup. You understand what I'm... You didn't know that. You know they are... Uh, of course. Of course. Of course, I have all my backup. Even this evening, I was going through the backup. I was playing all of them. I was going through them again. So, if they want to, if they want to debunk this thing, I'm saying that it's a lie. Nothing like that happened. How come the the AU, the Africa, our presidents? Heard a minute silent for them. As at that time, I could remember I called the president of Ghana on this issue. The president of Ghana told me that it it is not in their interest that if the people of Nigeria cried out for 30 days, that is when they will take up the case, that the AU will take up the case. As long as nobody has cried out that it is assumed that they understood what is going on, that in Nigeria is not Ghana. That is what the president of Ghana told me. You understand what I'm saying now? Yeah. I understand that many of them are hearing me right now. Let any one of them come up to challenge me. I went to Ethiopia. I spoke with the with a prime minister, with uh, one of the lawmakers there, and he told me that it is not in their interest. Then I accused him of being bright. If if not, he would have come up with an answer because he is the secretary of the a, um, AU of the African Union. You you, uh, you understand me now? As at so, then, as at then, yes, as at that time. So I challenge him. I accused him that if that they have been offered bribe and he told me that he has never received any bribe from Nigeria, though many of them are, mm, are coming with proposal, mm. but whether he later accepted bribe, I don't know. You understand what I'm saying now? Mm. But the truth is this, Buhari is long dead in Freeman Hospital in Newcastle in London on the 19th of February, the year 2017. He's dead. Wari is dead. He was buried in Saudi Arabia. Nobody can tell me that he was, that he is still alive. Worry that I know if you look, you know, when Una de Kano came up, he understand, they said that he's talking rubbish. I am not, I have never met Una de Kano on face to face, he has never, he don't, he doesn't even know me, he doesn't even know whether I'm fair or black, he doesn't know me, and I've never given him anything, he has never given me anything, you understand that? But the truth is, as a journalist, I swore an oath to stand by the truth at all times, hmm. irrespective of what may be at stake. I swore an oath and because to God and, and, and now, to humanity. And now you no longer work with this uh, television station. And now because of what is going on in Nigeria, you are ready to shatter the table. If I am not answerable to any Nigerian authority, yeah. you understand now? When I was suspended, I was waiting if my suspension would be lifted. I waited for a period of six months. My suspension was not lifted. Then I resigned. I sent them my resignation letter. Then I left. I started my my own firm by myself. You understand me now, which I am growing by the special grace of God. You understand what I'm saying now? Then what we do? What we do? Because a lot of people, are, of course, a lot of people are demanding that we are not going to discuss here. You know, you know whether we are going to how we're going to bring. 
video to start flashing and stuff like that because we want to be killing them uh, you know slowly slowly so we want to be killing them slowly slowly it is not going to be boom so a lot of people are saying we should bring the video we should bring the video we are not going to respond to that at this point whether we are going to bring the video or not but so long as they are following the program following what we're doing the videos and evidences will be dropping bit by bit all right thank the you very much. issue is thank you sir please i want to say something sir. okay go ahead thank you very much i appreciate you i appreciate what you are doing and i appreciate the good people of nigeria who stood up to 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 say no we cannot face this anymore i appreciate all of you but one thing we must understand is the unit the the spirit of unity has to be strong in the nigeria youth you understand what i'm saying because any protest that does not last for 30 days cannot draw the attention of the european union and the african union you understand now yes. so if i'm saying this to the um nigeria youth so that they will understand what they are doing you understand because right now revolution is what is needed that is why the nigeria government are doing everything to block everywhere mm. that is why they paid um people to go and shoot those are the people those are, 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 are the military the military that they worry all that they shooting and the governor of um um uh uh, uh, uh lagos state mm -hmm. uh Sonwolu, Sonwolu said that they were at first i watched him he said there was nothing like that then i called him on, on the phone that was the uh, day before yesterday you called someone on the phone you, you called someone on the phone a day before yesterday i have their number i have okay. their number i called him on the phone and i asked him why are you saying this it is obvious across the nations of the earth why are you saying this people will come after you the nigeria youths that i know they are calm but when you will, will, will toy with their ego with their simplicity they will come after you you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Then I believe that was later when he came up to say that uh, they, uh, they thought uh, nobody died, but he began to look for possible means to change his mouth. Mm -hmm. Then I called Bola Asiwaju. Then when I learned that he was in France, I flew into France to go and see him, but I was not allowed to see him in his France mansion. You understand? Then I called him on his phone his phone was switched off and he couldn't attend to my call then i went then i went to his uh, um um linkedin page yeah i went to his linkedin page to contact him and when i contacted him he told me that he was never the one that ordered the shooting though he was aware of it i was asking him why did you order people to remove that uh, um, um, uh, uh, camera he said he was not the one that it was it was the governor the governor so low, so low that ordered them to remove it that nobody can remove it except the governor signed it mm. so the governor of lagos state he's he was aware of what of what will happen he was aware that soldiers were going there he let he let any of them come up to say this is not true and i will publish the the voice as, as notes the voice recording through linkedin that i communicated with asiwa jubola tunubu you understand what i'm saying tonight yes Th thank you very much you know some people will be saying oh this thing is not adding up you know sometimes when you are when you are in the field when you are in the field the way this nigeria politicians the way this nigeria story goes you know sometimes it will go up and go down some people will, may not be you know getting the point some people may not understand you know why would you go to france why would you do this you know but when a journalist 
who is like you know dealing with all these politicians in Nigeria and you want to be the person to have the first hand information of whatever that is happening and especially when you have you are you are out of the game especially from the Nigeria space and now you want to be you know you, you know you want to have first hand information of what is going on you know sometimes when something like this happen of course you can fly to anywhere just to get the information and get the first hand information you know to to have it in your in your own space but anyway sure. i must i must thank you very much this is the first time you are talking to anybody about this yes this is the first time ever you are talking to anybody about this uh we are going to continue our discussion it is not going to be online it is going to be it is not going to be live 